Hi, I'm Chris Pruitt. We're back here at Naples Motorsports and today I'm going to take you on a ride in a 2004 Ferrari 360 and this car here is equipped with an F1 transmission. Let's go for a ride. One of the things I really wanted to explain to you is there's a lot of misunderstanding with the F1 transmission. A lot of people think the F1 transmission is an automatic Ferrari. This is in no way an automatic Ferrari. It has an automatic mode but you have to remember this is a true manual transmission at heart so it's going to have all the control of a manual transmission. You're going to shift with your paddles and you're going to shift only when you want to. It's not going to shift when you think or when the computer thinks you should. It's only going to shift when you tell it to unless you're in the automatic mode. And one of the things to remember is you only have to upshift in an F1 transmission. You never have to downshift unless you want to like coming into a corner or coming up to a stoplight. If you only hit the brake as the car slows down it will downshift for you to keep the engine from stalling. Every time you start driving the 360 basically what you'll do is you'll get in turn the key on with your foot on the brake you then turn it to the start position. What that's going to do is that's going to leave us in neutral. Every time you start the car it's going to be in neutral. You're going to release the e-brake that because that is your park. You don't have a traditional park in this car because you have to remember you're driving a true manual transmission. So you're going to release your parking brake here in the center console, leave your foot on the, on the actual pedal brake, and then pull your up paddle one time. The paddle on your right will always be up, and the paddle on your left will always be down. Now, the paddles do not move. They stay in the exact same spot. So even if you're in the middle of a corner, you know exactly where that paddle is at all times. So we're in first gear. I'm going to take my foot off the brake. Notice, we don't go anywhere. Once I start to give the car gas, is when the car physically starts to move. It's like you're sitting there with your foot on the clutch, but once you start to give it gas is when you start to release the clutch. But everything works in this car on throttle position, so when you start to give it a little throttle, it starts to release the clutch. You'll feel the clutch release as you start to drive, and when you're ready to shift, you just pull the up paddle one time, and it shifts instantaneously. It's not like an automatic that shifts when it's ready. It shifts right when you tell it to. So that gives you a lot of control and all the, all the advantages of driving a manual, but if you're coming into a corner like we are here, you can click the downshift and it downshifts right then and you have all your power again. Coming into your next corner. Notice the rev matches your throttle for you, everything. Coming out of the corner, ready to shift again. fourth gear. If I click the downshift paddle twice, what it did there was it skipped third gear and went straight to second gear, but it also rev matched the throttle just like you would in a true manual transmission. Now, say you're driving, you take off, we're in second gear and your cell phone rings. All I have to do is reach down and press automatic here in the center console and it completely, completely takes over for you. I don't have to do anything. One of the things about the F1 transmission is whether you're in automatic mode or F1 mode where you're shifting manually, if I go to come to a stop, I never have to remember to downshift. It will always automatically downshift for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push automatic, take it back out of the automatic mode, and then you'll see when I start to go, all I have to do is upshift. When I go to take off here, if I am only giving it a little bit of throttle and I go to shift, it's going to shift much slower. Everything in this car, like I said, works on throttle position. So if I'm giving it more gas, it's going to shift much faster. If I'm giving it less gas, it's going to shift slower. So everything works on throttle position. You have to remember that. If I go to downshift, that was a normal downshift with my foot off the gas. But if I stay on the gas, you can see you get a much more aggressive downshift. I hope you enjoyed our ride. I sure know I did. Be sure to watch all of our other videos on YouTube as well as visit our website, NaplesMotorsports.com. Again, I'm Chris Pruitt. Don't hesitate to ask for me. Thanks for watching.